hello and welcome back to my channel and for today I am starting a new playthrough and that is the sequel to the good old classic Doom and this is the good old classic Doom 2 Hell on Earth and obviously I shall be playing this on ultraviolence and I'll be playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth the first chapter which has 32 missions, 2 secret missions and that one's like the episodes of episode 1, 9 missions, 8 normal ones and 1 secret. But I'll be doing the top one first, which is the main story. Obviously on ultraviolence. So I shall get started. And straight away there's a secret where a chainsaw is, but you can't get back up here. So yeah, that's one of those type of secrets. And I've just got to run into this action and just mow them all down with a chainsaw. I love this beginning mission. We just do that. And um, basically, chainsaw is secret number one. This is secret number two. And once these imps are dead, pressing this switch will access secret number three. But standing on that platform will enable secret number four. This is secret number three. This outside area. And it don't matter if I take damage because there is health at the beginning of this mission. And that's the purpose of doing it. Kill off that imp. Change back to the chainsaw. Oh, whoa. Collect that health. Secret number four there. Well, we're getting secret number five. Well, I'll call it secret number five, but it's in no necessary order. That's just the order I'm doing it. Now I need to move back because I've got no armour, even pistol men do damage. But in this secret there is the armour. So yay. So yay to armour. Yay. Pressing this switch will open that. Pressing this switch will lower the platform so that one needs to be pressed first. And now I can have the armour. And I can collect everything for secret 4 and this is secret 5, the rocket launcher. All these health bonuses are not the secret everything else but the uh, rocket launcher is and that is entry completed 100% killed in secrets and I don't know where the one missing item is but I'm not bothered because I'm not looking for 100% items and I can collect these health bonuses kill him kill him one in it don't miss him but kill him turn all the way around Collect these bonuses, run across here, kill him off, well kill them two off, collect all that, run down here, and then kill these off. And now you will see the last weapon you will see me obtain in this Doom series, and that is the Super Shotgun, which I mentioned in the beginning of Doom, I think, in my Doom playthrough, I think I mentioned it. Yeah, I did. Oh, crud kill. And this is the best weapon of the game, and you'll see why. Because not only does it shoot two shotgun shells at once, but it adds extra damage to the shot anyway. So if you could kill three shotgun guys with one shotgun shot, it would kill like seven or eight. So it has that extra damage, even though it's two shells. And I'll be grabbing that mega armor afterwards, but not yet. So hopefully I'll remember to grab it. Because sometimes I actually do forget... What I like to do, I like to kill off those three um, gunners there, and then kill off the rest. Because I like to do that because the pinky dies in one shot, super shotgun shot, so I can do it that way. And then I can collect everything, and I'll be going back to that secret anyway. Afterwards, when I collect that mega armour. But that is a secret, don't need that. And nine times out of ten, there's going to be some of the shotgunners that took that teleporter that you saw because it takes you to here and I can kill off that shotgunner press that switch go down here I was about to say hopefully kill all them off in one shot and I did kill them off in one shot kill him off in one shot kill him off in one shot kill him off in one shot run down here and I don't know what's happened down here but I don't want to know all I, know, all I know and all I care is that they're all dead anyway. 
but it's near enough to the end of this mission. Yeah, you die in one shot. And that can happen sometimes, but it don't matter. Right, health back. I can run up here, kill off these shotgunners. There's five in here. And then I can go get that mega armor. And that is the end of this mission after that. So get the mega armor, take the secret, and then go to the exit. And that is Underhaul's completed. 100% kills and secrets. And now it's the third mission. The gantlet. So it's time to go. Now I've had a sip of drink. And we're only 5 minutes 15. Well, that's a lot of time for two missions. Right, so I'm going to take a shortcut to this mega armor, turn around immediately, kill that, but I don't need that mega armor. I now in fact two mega armors in this mission, so I only need to pick up one unless I want to pick that up for extra armor. I might do. Now I'll collect that, collect these shotguns, and I'll be collecting that box when I get the backpack, because yes, it's a secret for this backpack in this mission. And here is a new enemy. In the credits, he's known as the heavy weapon dude, but he's most commonly known as the chain gunner, because he has a chain gun. And he can be a bit stronger than the other hit scanner enemies. And if you don't know what a hit scanner enemy is, it's basically just the ones with the guns. Now I'll kill off these imps, because I still will be using the ordinary shotgun. I'll only not be using it when I need to take out the big enemies. But most of the big enemies are the new enemies you'll be seeing later on in the game and this playthrough. And I've taken heaps of damage there, but I can compromise. I can run down here, kill off them, kill off them, change to the super shotgun, kill that spectre in one shot. Oh dear, if I can get accurate enough, there we are. And I can change back to the ordinary shotgun, kill him off, get to here, leave all them. And there's Slugia's chain gunner that teleports, yeah, thought so. I don't want to miss him anytime soon. And now I'll kill off all of these in this area, and there is a chain gunner. Sometimes when I do that, you don't want to die in one shot, so I need to be very careful. I will be taking that shotgun, thank you very much. And something is shooting at me. Oh, you. <sighs> Never mind then. You're dead, you're dead. And there's usually a shotgun guy there, but he decided to take the teleporter. And I did collect that rocket launcher, but now here is the backpack. So I can collect all of these chain guns lying on the ground. And I'll be getting one secret at the end of this mission when I need to. I won't be doing it yet. Basically that switch in there, um, high, well, like lifted the this wall to get to this teleporter. Didn't know how to put it then, but never mind. Uh, I did say I'll be collecting that box, but not yet. And yeah, these spectres and pinky, inky stinky pinkies come out when you go on there. This one opens when you press a switch or when you go on there. And the other one lowers when you grab the red key. And it's just two inky stinky pinkies. Nothing too bad. But there's a horde of imps. Lovely. Usually they're all dead by four shots, and they are good. Sometimes when there's loads of imps like that, I will use the regular shotgun, but not for now. But now, last four enemies of this level. Three pinkies there, and the last one is here. Now I'll take the teleport to the other side, and I'll go back to here. Collect all the shotguns and the box of shotgun shells. And I'll take this teleporter to where the backpack was, but that's a different way of getting to it. And now I'll get the final secret. Energy cell pack, soul sphere, mega armor, and partial invincibility. So, well, in invisibility, I should say. 
But I think that's it for down here, so yeah, I'll go back up. Take the teleporter, go in here, open this door, press this loader switch. Oh yeah, and that switch opens that, by the way. And now, that is the gantlet completed. 100% all round, so I'm happy with that. And now it's level four, the focus. And what I like to do for here, kill off them two, kill off the shotgun guy, kill off them, kill off them, kill off them. Press that, avoid the imps, or just leave them alone, I should say. Kill him off, kill him off. Change to the ordinary shotgun. As you see, they can snipe you from these open and shut in windows, but I'll leave it. I'll do it that way. Very hectic way. I'll be dealing with him later. Well, in a sec. And that switch that I pressed up there whilst I was doing all that lowered this platform where the blue key was. Ow. So that I could collect the blue key. And now there's these imps. Lovely jubbly. Now I'll switch to the super shotgun again. Kill you off. Kill you off. Click the ammo. Go in here. Kill you off. Kill you off. Oh dear. Kill you off. And then just lure all the imps over to here. And nine times out of ten that seems to happen. I think it's funny, but it's definitely a bit weird. But they decided to walk over it with Mr. Imp. And this is secret number two. That super shotgun was secret number one and I fell off, so never mind. This is secret number two. This teleporter right here. Oh, oh no. This is secret number one in here. Secret number two is a super shotgun, and that teleports secret number three. So that's all the secrets, but sometimes one of them don't tag as a secret. So it might say that I have 66%, but it actually is 100. And down here is one shotgunner and a spectre, and on the other side it's a chain gunner and a spectre. Oh dear. I don't want to do that too much. Oh, you've taken that, have you? Never mind then. Now I'll collect all the armor bonuses and stuff. And then press this switch. Run across <laughs> Lose you run across to the platformer or platform to without doing that. And traditional pinky in the exit to end the focus. And the secret did ta tag, so that's a hundred percent all round. And now it's the final mission for today. The Waste Tunnels. And I'm only 13 minutes in. Well, that's interesting. What I like to do here, I like to run here, kill him off first. He's priority. Run down all the way here, kill him. How the hell did you survive that? I'll be leaving that for now, but I've gone down there now, so the imps will probably come up. But the imp who came up from down at the bottom. Yep. I better dispatch of these then. Ow. All the imps dead? Good. I'll leave them for now because they don't come. They, well, I don't think they do. Oh, it didn't want to go down, did it? Right. Yeah, I've taken a bit of damage, but I can compromise because I don't want to grab that yet. And I lose you can get 100% secrets on this one as well. But it's the later missions where I'll have trouble finding 100% secrets. But until then, I should be alright. But that's both of the little imp areas down here. I didn't want to fall down there. But what I do want to do is come here. You stopped me. Because when you run over an enemy... If they're, uh, if they're below you, it stops you from running to the bits, because they have infinite height for some reason. Just the way it goes. But now I can get secret number one. Well, I see secret number one, but it's the order which I do it in, so that's why I call it that. Right, so I'll flip those two. Kill the imp off and the chain gunner, because he needs to die. 
I press this down and this lowers. There was a shotgun there, but there was a plasma gun. Oh yes. I'll be using that soon. Not quite yet. I'm going to kill off these imps from here, because that is secret 2 over there. Well, the bit after that soul sphere is secret 2. But that is this outside area done, for now, until I get the blue key. But I like to kill off these gunners. But I won't be going up this way, I'll be going round, but I'll be going to get secret 2 now. Change to the super shotgun. You're dead. You're dead. You definitely can buy. And now I can collect the soul sphere. Oh yeah, and then there is a um, new enemy in this mission. And it's similar to the Baron. Do you know what? I'm going to punch him out because I've got Berserk. So yeah. Time to punch out. Me laddies. I'm going to kill this imp in here first. Now, I won't be pressing that switch yet, but we'll be pressing this switch now. Because it reveals three shotgunners, and I won't be grabbing this mega armor until the end. Hopefully I don't forget to. And now this area opens up, and I missed completely there. Right, so, kill Inky Stinky Pinky, run past those gunners, get in here as quick as I can, grab that rocket launcher, don't count as a secret, but I do want those few rockets that you can get from there, and it's a good thing I didn't pick up that box then, because I can pick it up later if I, if I don't forget about it. Now kill off these annoying lost souls, the first time you see them in this game, dastardly creatures. And he didn't die, so now he needs to. And it's time for the first use of the chain gun, guys. So I'm just going to mow down these, like there's no tomorrow. You see, I'm not bothered about the loss of health, because of the soul sphere. That's why I'm playing it a bit more ruthlessly than I usually would. Off with you, I shall dispatch of you. You're dead. Oh dear, forgot about you. Well, didn't, but didn't think they were around that corner. But yet, they appear to be two stuck together there. And now it's time for the first new, well, the second new enemy of this game. The Hell Knight. It has practically about half the health of the Baron. I killed it that quick. He still deals roughly the same damage, but it's easier to kill because it's weaker. But never underestimate a knight from hell. That's why it's called the hell knight. And I run across here, and Mr. Kakos are out. Yay! I think this is the first Kakos you see in this game. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of first time in this um, game. On the, well, on this level, sorry. Usually, two super shotgun shots. Dispatch of these, there we are. I won't be grabbing that yellow key yet, because something opens. Well, not open, but some, something raises to get across to that yellow door. The platform, but I won't be doing it yet until all these are dead. They appear to all be dead, so I can grab the yellow key. And then <laughs> cross over to here. Oh dear, no. Oh no, 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 no. Not at the end of the episode. Oh dear. I can do this in one go, usually. There we are. There we are. Right, now I can go click that box because I think I remember where it is. And the um, mega armor as well. Oh yeah, I remember where the box is. It's in here. It's always good to have, as I said, it's always good to have enough ammo as you can get. And now I'll go to the 
beginning area to get that soul sphere and that will be the waste tunnels completed and that will be this the end of this episode so i'll go ahead and end it because i don't because this is one of the levels where there's no inky stinky thinky in the exit door because you get that in the first few missions but that is the waste tunnels completed hundred percent all around again i've basically got hundred percent kills and secrets in these first five missions i should be able to do it in the crush of the next one obviously dead simple because you gotta kill everything anyway and in the next episode uh, you will see three new enemies at least no four new enemies because i'll be playing level eight up to level eight tricks and traps one in the crusher two in dead simple and one in tricks and traps but that ends this episode here so i will thank you for watching and i will see you in the next part where I start and complete level 6 Crusher.